to create our own equation. But we're also going to use exponential regression on a graphing calculator. Um, or in this case, I'm going to use a website uh, to find the model for it. So if we look at this part of the table, it's giving us something similar as what we had on the previous problem. So for t equals 0, the output, the f of 0, is going to equal to 76.7. .7. Now, this is similar of us saying y sub 0, the initial uh, percentage, because we're talking about mortality rate, is going to be... 76.7. So right there, I can go ahead and replace this value that we have here, y sub 0, with that numerical value. So this will look like f of t is equal to 76.7 b to the power t. Now, we could use another point. So for example, if we um, actually, it, it's asking us here to use the year 2014. So for the year 2014, we have the mortality rate, it dropped by a lot. So with that said, we have that F of 14. Actually, I shouldn't be saying that. I'm not sure what is the correct um value for t, but let's find out. So if the year 1920 was considered to be t equals zero, if we get the difference of what is the year 2014 minus 1920, we get 94. So this is what I did. 2014 minus 1920 and we get 94 so what this is telling me is that at t equals 94 the f of 94 the output was going to be equal to the number that we have here and that percentage is 5.8 so what we're going to do is substitute those two numerical values um, this one for the exponent for t, 94, and then this one is going to be the input. So instead of f of t, so I'm going to rewrite it here, f of t is equal, so far we have this, 76.7 b to the power t, and so what I'm going to do is replace f of t with 5.8, and then I'm going to replace the exponent with a 94. Why again? Well, the 94 is coming from here because it's the year 2014, which is 94 years after 1920. And the 5.8 is coming from here. So we do that with the purpose of solving. We have to solve for B. And we're going to do a similar approach of what we did earlier, and I'm actually going to use this part of the paper. So we have 5.8, first we're going to take the divide by 76.7, and that will be equal to b to the power 94. Now, before you even divide anything, um, because I don't want you guys to round too soon, so what we're going to be doing is uh, taking the 94th root, and yes, that it is a thing. And so we do that because we want to cancel the exponent of 94. So we take the 94th root, however, on your calculator, you might want to enter it like this. Um, you enter your whole fraction, and then you pull the exponent out. I'll show you in a minute. And that will give us the value for B. And so that will be, um, let's see, that... I'm going to actually enter it on the calculator so you guys can see. So we're going to have open parentheses or um, 
I could use the fraction tool, but I know not all of you have it. So I'm going to use parentheses, and then I'm going to enter 5.8 divided by 76.7. So there's a, some type of storm coming. Um, and then we need to use the exponent symbol. Um, so I have to use that one. And then we're going to put in there the fraction 1 divided by 94 as the exponent, and that's going to be taking the fifth root of that quantity. So we get an answer of 0.9729. Um, let's take the first four digits. So point, point 0.9729. Two, nine. So now that we have those values, we could go back to the original model that we started with. That used to be this. Uh, remember how we replace the y sub 0. We started by doing that. The y sub 0 here. We replace that with 76.7. And then we still had something like b to the power t. So now what I'm going to do is um, replace B with a number that I found, this one here. So our model is going to be f of t is equal to 76.7, and then we replace the base that we found, which is 0.9729, and then to the power t. And that is the model that we found by hand. Now I'm going to pause the video and then once I start the next video I will show you the regression for it.